Good morning, in this week's Block News, the fastest growing AI plugin on WordPress.org gets a big update. A quick look at the two new AI blocks released by WordPress.com. I show you the best bits of what's coming in WordPress 6.2. Shopify have announced their own AI integration. Google announced that SEO generated content won't harm your search ranking. And Alan Rickman reads the latest Gutenberg reviews. Let's get newsy. Time for Block News. It's news about blocks. It's hard to keep up with the speed of updates from Geordie with his AI engine plugin. I covered this last week and it's absolutely fantastic. It's had a few big updates which I want to show you. But look at the active installations now. It's now it's 4,000. It has now over 80, it's now got 80 five star reviews. It had 75 when I looked about 20 minutes ago. And if we look at the growth rate of this thing by going to advanced view, we can see it's absolutely starting to fly. I'm gonna do a full tutorial on the AI engine plugin in maybe a week or two weeks time. So subscribe if you wanna see that. But there are three things I wanna show you today. The first big update is the ability to create these really cool interactive forms which then talk to chat GPT in the background. So in this instance, I've created a library bot and I can choose what type of book I want to select either fiction or non-fiction, then I pop in my favorite book. And then here are the library books that my library bot has recommended I go and read next. What's really cool about this is that it's just built using a whole bunch of Gutenberg blocks that Geordie has built that we can then add to our pages. And the second really nice update to the AI engine plugin is you can now train it on your content automatically. You can set it running to go and look at all your posts and then it will create a data set which you can then upload to ChatGPT and create your own special model, which sits like a layer on top of the ChatGPT model. And then this third update is good for any WooCommerce users out there. It will automatically generate your product information for you. So here I have a silver watch. I have no product description or anything else. I can just click on generate fields over here on the right. Here's my result. And all I have to do is click on this little button down here and that will automatically get put into my WooCommerce product. Shopify announced that they're gonna integrate AI into their product description writing. Here's a demo of how it works. You pop in your product title, you pop in a short description, and it automatically generates all the text for you. WordPress.com released two brand new AI blocks to their users last week. They are both tagged as experimental and they may not be around forever. One is called the AI paragraph block seen here, not very useful. One is called the AI image block here, very useful. To use the AI paragraph block, you just add it into your page and it will just make up a paragraph based on your content. So I have a heading here called my trip to Cornwall. It will trundle off to chat GPT and just come up with a paragraph, but I can't actually prompt it. So I don't think I'd ever use this. I would always use a proper tool for this. The AI image block, however, is more useful because I can actually put a prompt in here, like a painting of a lighthouse in the style of Edward Hopper. And then I can choose one of these and that will just sit nicely in line with my post. Google announced last week that using AI to generate content won't harm your search rankings as long as it's good content. I will link to their post in the description below. Here it is here. I will skip to the FAQs because that's where they really answer the question. So question one, is AI content against Google's search guidelines? They say appropriate use of AI or automation is not against our guidelines. This means that it is not used to generate content primarily to manipulate search rankings which is against our spam policies. Question two, why doesn't Google search ban AI content? They say automation has long been used in publishing to create useful content. AI can assist and generate useful content in exciting new ways. And then question three, how will Google search prevent poor quality AI content from taking over search results? And they say poor quality content isn't a new challenge for Google search to deal with. We've been tackling poor quality content created by both humans and automation for years. We have existing systems to determine helpfulness of content, which is a very Orwellian phrase. Other systems work to elevate original news reporting. Our systems continue to be regularly improved. WordPress 6.2 is coming out on the 28th of March and there are a whole bunch of improvements coming your way. I put together an article which I will link to in the description below that talks you through each of the improvements, but they are at the top level. The site editor interface is being improved. We're gonna have colorized template parts so it'll be much easier for you to identify your reusable blocks. We're gonna be able to copy and paste styles between blocks, that gets a big thumbs up. <laughs> Finally, you're gonna be able to add custom CSS both globally and per block as well. There is a new style book, which I'm gonna show you, that's really cool. 
We're going to also have a brand new sticky position that you can apply to blocks. Fantastic for sticky headers and some other cool stuff as well. And then finally, the navigation block is having a big improvement, so it's much easier for you to use. Here's a really quick look at my favorite bits of 6.2. The first is the user interface is much friendlier. There's a much clearer separation between your templates and your content. This is what it looks like. I would love at some point to see global styles over here as well. Here is the new list view with the navigation block. You can see it over here on the right. I can actually edit this menu along the top here just by dragging these up and down. So I've got full functionality now using this list view. I can remove items, I can make items, sub items just by dragging them around. So it's much more abstracted than trying to fiddle around in here. Personally, I would love it if you actually couldn't fiddle around in there at all. Let me compare this to Wix. So this is Wix, this is how they manage their menus. And it's completely abstracted. So you can't actually, as far as I can tell, you can't edit them at all in here but you have to click on Manage Menu and then the menu appears over on the left. So it's completely abstracted from the design, which I really like. That's kind of how the old WordPress works. And I would love to see that introduced here so you can actually only edit the menu when you're in here. And it would be great if you clicked in here, there was an option to edit the menu and then it would open up the list view and just forced you over there every time, just like Wix does. Really clear the separation of where you create the structure and where you do the design. And look at this, you can do this sort of stuff in Wix as well. Uh, imagine if you could do this in the site editor, you can just drag this stuff around. I think there's a big opportunity, if it isn't built into core, for somebody to build a really cool killer header builder that you could do this sort of stuff just using blocks, but it gives you these kind of layout controls. This is how you can add global CSS to your site. So you have to go into the templates themselves, into the edit screen, then come over top right and click on the styles icon, which used to be global styles. And then once that's open, you come down to these little three dots here where it says more styles action, and then click on that and you'll see additional CSS. Click on that and that's where you put it. There is a brand new style book where you can see all the styles that your website is using. It's really useful. You just go into the site editor, come over here to this slightly scary eye, click on that and it loads in the page with all your styles shown. So if you make a change now, you can see it immediately here. So there's one place where you can see all the block styles that your site is actually using. So if I change the heading style here, let me just go into fonts for my headings here and change it to a serif font, you can see how it's changing. As you probably know, if you subscribe to this channel, I like to keep a beady eye on the latest Gutenberg plugin reviews. And after a spate of really positive ones, we've gone really, really negative again. So let's get Alan Rickman to read the latest one. Still not satisfied. So much wasting time. The worst thing that had ever happened to WordPress. So much screen freezing. Can't do anything with it. Thank you, Alan, for reading that so beautifully. I suspect this particular user has a plugin conflict going on. And this is part of the issue with why Gutenberg gets a bad reputation in many cases. I use Gutenberg every single day. It never freezes on me. So I suspect there's another plugin interfering with them. But they blame Gutenberg for their issues because Gutenberg is front or center of everything they're doing within the editor. So thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, if you can hit that like button now, it would be amazing because it really does help spread the word of the video and the channel. And also every time you do hit that like button, our cats get a little treat. <laughs>If you want to see more videos like this, hit that subscribe button below and you'll be notified every time I release a new one. Keep well, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.